Hey guys, it's Arcade and today I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make 808s in Serum. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I have a new sample pack called Pure 808s. And it's basically just 45 808 sounds. So if you want that, check out the link in the description. And now let's get back to the tutorial. So I'm going to add Serum to my project and we're going to get started. So the first thing we want to do is just change the envelope. So it's not just one uh, sustain sound. So just drop the sustain. And now we're going to move the decay. So this is going to be how long the bass is going to last. So you can change this anytime. It doesn't really matter what you start with but this just seems okay so when we have this now we're gonna change the waveform so we have the sound tooth here and we're gonna change it go to click on the default go to analog and choose analog bd sign so already we're getting some sort of bass and this one is good because you can adjust it a little to change the sound a little bit. So let's just leave it in the on the one, just the, the default position. And let's actually drop the octave one. So we can like have the lower lower sound here. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is go to FX. So we already have some sort of 808. Basically you can use this in your song if you want. It's something, but for people who like listen to music on uh, laptop speakers or on their phone, they're probably not going to even pick up the, the sound here. So what we can do is go to FX and enable distortion and just put it like on 64 or whatever or even more and we can actually adjust the envelope now so we just take this point and put it up so it starts on a higher volume well, it doesn't start there, but it uh, stays on the high volume for a little longer. Okay, another thing we can do. So I'm basically going to show you multiple things you can do to create new sub bases, new 808s. Um, so it's not like we, we are creating one 808 in this tutorial, but already we could have like two 808s from these steps we already took. Uh, another thing you can do is take LFO and put it right here on a oscillator one right here and then go which is chorus pitch and then go to matrix and you can see it here LFO one chorus pitch and just change this type because as you can see right now here is the middle and it goes to right and to the left and we just want it to go to one direction so we just click on the type and the arrow will change and now it only goes to the right and now change the LFO well we don't want this uh, also change it to envelope so it repeats only once and you can like change it like this to get like a click at the start almost like a kick and if you want to change it just just move it or you can go back to matrix and increase the pitch here and now it's going to be probably crazy But yeah, you can adjust it to your liking, whatever you want go going for. 
-hmm. it's possible. Another thing you can do, go to FX, FX and just change the drive to in the distortion to maximum. Now that's a crazy bass. You probably don't want that, but what you can do is enable EQ and just put it under distortion, make sure it's under it and change it to high pass, I mean low pass. Just click this button, change the Q so we don't have this this peak here and then move the frequency so only the low frequencies can be heard. Now this is a pretty cool bass right here. And this one also has more of the higher frequencies in there. So it should be heard on laptop speakers and stuff like that. So yeah, that's one, that one's pretty good. If you want to just change it slightly, you can just change the frequencies. And you have like a whole new 808 there, basically. And another thing you can do, just disable the EQ, put the drive back. You can actually enable oscillator B. And now we have uh, so to there, just uh, put it up to lower. And you don't want that sound, but you can enable the filter as well. Uh, change it to only uh, effect oscillator B which is this one. So if it's on A as well, that's gonna affect both of them. You just want the B oscillator. And keep it on the default filter, which is low pass 12. And just move the cutoff. So now we have this uh, saw tooth in there. which adds uh, more frequencies to the sound. So it's, it's not just straight up sub bass. So it has another one you can do. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's few things you can do to create your, your own 808s. Few tips on how to change them and stuff like that. This one is my favorite with the drive all the way up and just EQing the high frequencies out of there. Sounds really good. So yeah, that's a few things you can do and hopefully you enjoy this video. In the next one, I'm gonna show you how to, how to EQ and mix a kick with the bass. Yeah, so thank you for watching and hopefully you learned something new. See you in the next one.